Subscribe to Jeremy's on YouTube. Hey! You're right, boys. I'm back, and we've got another video on our hands. And before we get into the main, the main topic of the video, I want to clear a few things up. First of all, I'm wearing a, a Nirvana top. I don't know anything about Nirvana. Don't ask me anything. All I know is they made the Batman thing song that's in the Batman film. So yeah, just bought it. Cause it I like the colours. That's it. That's it. But yeah, don't ask me any questions about Nirvana because I don't know anything I won't be able to answer. And then, second of all, this is going to be a bit later than usual because I'm filming this on Sunday because I was, I was going to do a vlog for you boys. And then I ran out of time. You know how it gets. You win some, you lose some. I watched Thingy as well last night. Before we get into it, I watched what was it? Uh, Dean the Great versus uh, Walid Sharks. A good event. I respect Misfits. Dylan Dennis versus KSI. Seems cool in London. Should I go? Vlog it. You never know. Everyone gets tickets. Who knows? Who's who can, well, who can tell the future? Apart from Dr. Fate. Yeah, so the Grammys. That was a good transition for you. The Grammys. The Grammys. The Grammys. If you don't remember, in my. It's not my last video, the one before that. I did a thingy. A music awards thing and I said who needs the Grammys when you've got me that statement became weirdly accurate because the Grammys released their nominees for the rap the rap section and I'd say mine is better that's it I would say mine's better so what we're gonna do in the, today's video we're gonna we're gonna just look at them we're gonna say how I feel about them about the nominees and then I'm gonna compare them to my things so yeah, let's just get into it. I'm not going to do cuts or anything. I've got my phone in front of me. Because who needs that, eh? So, let's just start off with the best rap album. The Grammys said the best rap album nominees are God Did by DJ Khaled, which is outrageous that that's there. I Never Liked You by Future. I can rate it. Come Home The Kids Miss You by Jack Harlow. No. Mr. Marlon and the Big Steppers. I said that as well. And it's almost dry. That makes me happy. The Pusha T album. That makes me happy to see on there because I didn't know if it would get on there. But yeah, we're going to talk about what's missing in that later. We're just going to give reactions. God Did does not need. God, no one thinks that God Did is the album of the year apart from maybe DJ Khaled himself. But that's it. Come on, the kids miss you is clearly there just to, you know, appeal to Jack Harlow's fan base, which I don't rate. But yeah, that's it. I never liked you for future. I rate that as well. But yeah, the best rap song nominees. We're gonna see. We're seeing a pattern here. Churchill Downs by Jack Harlow. <laughs> not. It's not a bad song. It's just. It's a bit mid, isn't it? Not really. God did by TJ Khaled, Rick Ross, Lil Wayne, Jay Z, John Lynch, and Friday. I would. That's. It's not a horrendous song. Jay Z carries. I would say. I would have to say that. But yeah, part part five. All right song. I don't know. There's better Kendrick Lamar songs that come out this year than the heart part five, in my opinion. But I can rate it. Push, pushing P. I kind of want Pushing P to win. Out of these, I think. Because it'll be nice, because young fucking gonna they're not having a great time at the minute, are they? So it'll be it'll be a rating. Like, they get ratings. And then wait for you by future. So it's clear that the Grammys are biased to these five albums. Because all the nominees, near enough all the nominees are from these albums. So it's clear they just be like, yeah, whatever. They don't care about rap music, boys. I'm sorry. They need there needs to be another award run by like Anthony Fantano or someone. Or me, I'll run it. But yeah, and then the best rap performance. God did again. Okay. Vegas by Doja Cat. I've not heard it, but it made me giggle. 
Pushing P again. Pushing P needs to win a Grammy. Uh, that's just, it'd be cool. I don't even know what FNF is. And then the heart part five, again. Heart part five, heart part five's good, but it's not. I wouldn't put it up there, I'd put Father Time. Why isn't Father Time nominated for a Grammy? But yeah, best melodic performance. This is where my issues arise. Um, Beautiful by DJ Khaled, Future and Scissor, okay. Wait For You by Future, Drake and Thames. First Class by Jack Harlow. Really, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Big Energy by Lato. Never heard it. And Die Hard by Kendrick Lamar. I can rate it. But how is Father Time not the best melodic performance from Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers? I'm sorry. Early morning. Wait, that's such a good mel melody. So yeah. But my problem is First Class by Jack Harlow because he doesn't do anything melodic on the song. The melodic part of the song is from another song. So, wh why? The, the melodic part of the Jack Harlow song that's been nominated for best melodic performance is sung by another person on another song like 10 years ago. And I can bet that that song probably didn't get nominated for a Grammy. So why is that a thing? I don't respect it. I don't respect the Grammys one little bit for that. I put it down as best chorus. What, a nominee for best chorus? Because I thought it probably should be on there. But not best melodic performance, boys. And also, how on God's green earth is there not a Kid Cudi nominee? How? I, I wasn't meant to get I wasn't meant to get this to this bit until later, but how is there not a Kid Cudi could Kid Cudi nominee? He released a whole melodic album this year and it was just Mwah Chef's Kiss. How is like Willing to Trust or Can't Shake her? How are none of them on here? It's just it's it's devious. I don't respect it. And that's it. Those are the Grammy nominations. So I'm gonna go through it and tell you what I personally would have done for the best rap uh, for the best each section for the best rap album get DJ Khaled out of there whack enter Galactic in it just makes sense and then keep I kept I'd keep future in there because I think that's a solid a solid album if you ask me because I don't mind me a bit of future and then I would not have put come home the kids miss you there because that's not a very good it's just not good like it's it's just mid jack harlow is just mid he is just a mid boy he is like what else can you say he's just not great is he and then i would put instead of that i'd put ramona park bro my heart by vince staples even though that's really unlikely because i know no one really rates vince staples that much but i really like that album and i really like vince staples but yeah, I'm glad Pusha T got nominated. That's the one that I was... I gathered Mr. Mal and the Big Steppers would get nominated, but I didn't... When I when I was reading the list, I was not expected to see it. It's almost dry on here, especially after reading the other nominations. But yeah, and then... For best rap song... I don't get why Churchill Downs is on here. Surely, First Class is a better rap, rap song, I guess. If they wanted to appeal to Jack Harlow... Jack, not Jack, not even Jack Holler, Jack Holler's fan base. They should probably have put First Class in where Churchill Downs was, because it's a more popular song. Churchill Downs is an alright song, it's probably a better song than First Class, but I don't really rate either. But God Did should not be, it could maybe, I could see it in Best Rap Performance, because Jay-Z's verse is very good, but not in the Best Rap song. I can't, I can't get behind that. What's a, what's a, what was a good... How is Cash and Cash out not on here? 
Clash and Clash Out is such a sick song. Pharrell Williams, 21 Savage, and Tyler the Creator on one song. That's so sick. How is that not? And so it's not like the people who like the Grammys don't like. Tyler the Creator's won two Grammys. So how did they not just say, oh yeah, we'll work Tyler the Creator in there. Pharrell Williams, Pharrell Williams is a hero. So how is he not on here? But yeah. And then I'll keep, I'd say the other ones are fair. Hot Pot 5, again, I don't know, I think Hot Pot 5's a bit overrated. I don't mind it, but yeah, better songs. The best rap performance. I wouldn't have put Pushing P on there. I can see it being best rap song, but I wouldn't say best rap performance. I wouldn't put Doja Cat on. I, no, you can keep Doja Cat if you want. I haven't listened to the song. She might be good. And then I haven't listened to FNF, so we'll keep that. But I, I do not, yeah. I'd take Pushing P off. And I can appreciate the Heart Part 5 being Kendrick Lamar doing a good performance. So I'd say the best rap performance section isn't horrendous. This is probably the best section on here. But I'd take Pushing P off because I don't think Pushing P is necessarily a good performance. I'd just put that under good song. But yeah. And then best melodic performance. Just put Kid Cudi on here. And also change Die Hard to um, Father Time. Get Jack Harlow out of here and put Pussy and Millions here because that's a good song. Also, why aren't there any other Pusha T nominations? Because Pusha T, surely, surely Diet Coke is best rap song potential or best rap performance potential. But yeah, that's basically it, really. But I, what I'm saying is, my list was better. Put me in charge of the Grammys. If DJ Khaled wins, I'm going to be fuming. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe and all that. And I'll, I'll catch you later.